Number 16. Uh, this is from a declined applicant who seriously asked me, is wrestling with my boyfriend considered a fighting game? <laughs> yes, and I told her, yes, yes it is. But, <laughs> and then I, um, she realized I was being sarcastic. <laughs> but, you know, what I had to so like that sarcasm is the ability to insult idiots without them realizing it. <laughs> Number 15, from so, so many people over the years. I can't even tell you how many times I've gotten this email, and it's, it's, it's so embarrassing. Hey, can you set me up with Alicia? Sure. Because you know what? No, poor thing, bless her heart. She's what, 22 quirky boobs, has a KDR 2 to 1, you know, six level 60 characters, and she can't find a date anywhere. <laughs> Let me call her right now. Seriously. Uh, number 14. Oh, and this is from countless models. Uh, so if you're thinking about telling me this, don't. I would love to work E3, GDC, PAX, PAXIS, but I'm going to need flight and hotel included. <clears throat> yeah, who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? No stocko, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, if you, if you are ever interested in, in applying or, or whatever, um, I strongly suggest uh, hostels.com. If y'all don't know about it, y'all may already know about it. But it's amazing. <laughs> like, it's amazing. One of my girls that work E3 is a local. So what happens is, usually the gig will have enough money to reimburse you because you have to have enough to get your flight in the hotel. And um, it was going to be a little too steep for her and what, what she does for a living. And so she went to hospitals.com and stayed for like $15 a night. And you, what are you going to bring with you? you your, your outfit's provided, you know, t shirt, black pants. Yeah, really, you can be size two for that. So, um, but you got to stay at, you know, hospitals.com and made, made the money back later. So that's just nice to know if you want to do that. A uh, potential client. Oh. God, and I'm giving this a good video on this one too. How much would you turn now? This is way in the beginning. It took me about three or four years to convince developers I was not a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> so how much would you charge for three to five girls to work the booth in a day, but only three stay the night? We'll see who hits it all. Oh, oh, Unacceptable! <laughs> this was from a prospective client. Okay, so we are in Indie Dev Studio in Seattle. We are a startup and we don't have a big budget. Because <laughs> I know they're going to ask for it right during tax. Right? So, oh, hmm, Indie Dev Studio without that much money for Microsoft. God, that's going to be a tough choice for me, isn't it? I only have so many girls up there. We saw Alicia on your site and we're wondering if she'd be available next weekend. Yeah, next weekend to work a three day event for, and I won't say how much it was, but for double digits. Right? For a day. Alicia is a Maxim model, like a real Maxim model, right? She also has a sick KDR. And um, I actually met her through, um, I think I, I, I met her somewhere and saw her playing. I was like, holy crap, this is so cool. You need to do that. So, but yeah, you can imagine she probably is going to get top dollar. Yes, thank you so much for having Let's see what we can do. Since your daily rate is less than her hourly rate, <laughs> I can't even present her with this as a potential gig. But I have a few ideas that might work. You could pay more for her and have her out for one hour, but she also gets to five hotel in a pretty am. So that's probably going to be out of your budget. In her hourly rate. Or I have perhaps some other models that could work two to three hours, right? So we, we got some ideas here. Oh, we don't, we definitely don't have the budget to bring in Alicia. So what about these other girls? Are they bikini models? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I can send you comp cards and links um, to the other models who might be available, but I need to know and at this point I'm like, okay, this is just gonna be good. 
Um, I need to know, when you say bikini model, because it means different things, do you mean ones that have already been in print, like in the calendar or whatever, or do you mean that someone's willing to wear a bikini at the gig, which is a totally different thing, that's more money, a lot more money, or someone that's just in bikini model shape, right? So those could all be valid questions. Oh, she doesn't have to be in a magazine or a calendar. We just need her to be fit. Like, preferably less than 10% body fat. <laughs> Very endowed, small waist, but the hips and thighs can be thick. We aren't picky. <laughs> oh my god! We want her to look like the girl in our game. Oh, and if, she, if she's chosen, can she make a costume that looks like the one in the spring? I'm thinking, oh dear God. <laughs> okay, so let me make this sure. You want her to look like Adriana Lima or Kate Upton or something like that for two digits a day, and I'm betting she doesn't even have to be a gamer. No, she doesn't have to be a gamer. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wondering, hmm, <laughs> this is not a C plus two client or talent. What is this? Oh, it's the fourteen year old game advisor. And actually, um, about three or four years ago, I saw a similar uh, thing in GDC, and it's true. You get it all the time. I, now, this is way back too. This is like so. This was on years one. I mean, it may have been like oh five or so. I saw you interviewed Clippy B at E3. Can you tell him I have a great idea for years two and how he can improve on things he did in the first one? Do you ever go over to his house? Do you know a place that might want to make my game? I have great ideas for this awesome game that I know would be tons better than Gears of War and COD put together. <laughs> Add me to your friends list if you ever want to play with me. My gamer tag is Just so you know, you may not like it because I will definitely be better than you, and I can bet. But I will give you some pointers for free. Yes! That's what I always wanted. Thanks. But anyway, everybody will be getting one of those calendars. Um, and, uh, wait, what calendar? This is the Crystal Plus 2 calendar, but it's from 2009 because, well, that's when I was covered, so yeah, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was because uh, I was on the calendar because it was the biggest sponsor for this calendar, and I've done the uh, Voice of Crash for quite a lot. And so, and I rode motorcycles, so they thought, hey, that'd be fun. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs>